past these four months, it is very similar to Andromeda's. This one released a report in 1990, what you see that one, 29 October. And for November, it is great, Raja Prabhu, this one, 29 December, President of the Visitor. And uh, 22 December, is great, it's only as Banu Swami Maharaj. What you have released is one, this one, is a response to the of OBBC, EBC. And for February, three Maharaj, yes. Devotees are there. We have to go outside and meet, find them. Of course, you've got a lot of people here <laughs> tonight. <laughs> but still, it shows the potential that there are so many devotees there. They're just waiting for us to come. So we have to have that eagerness, that enthusiasm to go out there and meet the people. And definitely, there's devotees there. So we were. We see all over the world there are devotees. You go to Russia, you go to Africa. And uh, also Maharaj, so where well, we have a changing a program when every Saturday what we do, we have a policy puja, then Prabhupada puja, the Gaurati, 7.30 we start dinner, up to 8, that we see it's very effective. So then the many seniors is there, so you can see the products here, you can see the behind Maharaj, the two guys there Maharaj, and the College preaching, yeah, can you talk here a little bit? Uh, they are from the college preaching. Amma, can you talk about inner reading? So they, uh, this whole Mataji is uh, coming from the house program, which is a product of the mother. Uh -huh. So we need your blessing session for all of them. Yes. Yeah. Thank so, <laughs> so thank you so much, Maharaj. We hope you can come and support us in Chinese and Palenquin programs. Yes. Definitely. We have a nice uh, please. Yeah. So this is our request, Maharaj. We don't have a pleading, a pleading, Maharaj. So it's also as a Diksha Guru, uh, also Diksha Guru for us. So hope you can keep guiding us and keep guiding us, Maharaj. So that, uh, without further delay, so I would like to welcome His Holiness uh, Narishma Maharaj. So let me introduce for Maharaj. Suppose the MC is to be here, uh, you know that the MC is missing. Who's MC? Uh, supposed to be Nama Kishore. Vira Bhatra Prabhu is So we have a translate, a trans, Gitika Mataji will be translate, Maharaj. So I need your blessing. So one Mataji can call and turn. So that's the one. So somebody is that in here. Haribo. Haribo. So I'll be standing beside her so that she can translate 
in Tamil Swami. Okay, this one is Bhakti Vigna Vinasana Rajshman Swami Maharaj is a disciple of yes, Divine Grace KC Bhakti Vedanta Swami Prabhupada, who is the original founder of Jaya. Sri Prabhupada Ki! Yes! This one is Bhakti Vigna Vinasana Rajshman Swami Maharaj Ki! Yes! During Maharaj's early days, so I'm supposed to be Tamil. His Holiness Bhakti Bhakti Vikta Narasimha Maharaj Pro Pachila Pro Pachila I didn't bring anything Oh, you want me to show any Bhagavad Gita Sloka from Veda Oh yeah, we could show Bhagavad Gita Sloka So, Maharaj Pro Pachila Pro Pachila Pro Pachila Pro Pachila No, any special verse you want me to speak on? Maybe. It's up to you, Maharaj. Well, maybe we could do the, the sixth chapter, something about the mind there. The, so should I open the uh, 634, but the mind, Arjuna said, the mind, Chanchala and Krishna said, let this the mind. Okay. Yeah. Should I zoom for you, Maharaj? For me? Should I zoom for you? Yeah, I think I can make it bigger. Chinese. Oh, <laughs> 
ರನ್ನ ಜನ್ನ ಮಾಧನ ಮನೋಹರ
भगवते वसुदेवाया So today we're reading this verse from Bhagavad Gita, chapter six, text number thirty-four. Chanchala hi mana Krishna. Chanchala hi mana Krishna. Pramati balabhadram. Pramati balabhadram. Tashyaham nigraham manye. Tashyaham nigraham manye. Vayore vasudhuskaram. Vayore vasudhuskaram. 
Chanchalam he mana Krishna. Chanchalam he mana Krishna. Pramati balavadridam. Pramati balavadridam. Tashyaham nigraham manye. Tashyaham nigraham manye. Vayore vasutuskaram. Vayore Chanchalam hi mana Krishna. Chanchalam hi mana Krishna. Pramati balavadridam. Pramati balavadridam. Tashyaham nigraham manye. Tashyaham nigraham manye. Vayore vasutuskaram. Vayore vasutuskaram. Would other people like to chant? Okay, we will read the word meaning. Chanchalam. Flickering. Demo. Tamil, that's it. Chanchalam. He. Certainly. Mana. Mind. Mana. Mana. Krishna. Krishna. Oh, Krishna. Oh, Krishna. 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 Pramati. Pramati. Agitating. Agitating. Pramati. Kirachi Kurdu. Balabat. Strong. Balabat. Balamanatha. Dritham. Obstinate. Dritham. Adangadatha. Tashya. It's. Tasya. Adan. Aham. I. Aham. I. Aham. Nan. Aham. Nigraham. Nigraham. Subduing. Nigraham Adakwada Nigraham Adakwada Manye Manye Think Manye Yemagirin Manye Vayo Vayo of the wind of the wind Vayo Visum Katri Vayo Visum Katri Iva Iva Like Like Iva Pola 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 Sudushkaram Sudushkaram 
difficult. Translation. The mind is restless, turbulent, obstinate, and very strong, O Krishna. And to subdue it, I think, is more difficult than controlling the wind. Krishna re manam amaidiyatradu kudapu nirendadu adangadadu shakti nirundu maitre visum kaatre adaku vadeyude manare adaku vadu kadinamana daake yenathu thoppigindradu. Purport by Srila Prabhupada The mind is so strong and obstinate that it sometimes overcomes the intelligence, although the mind is supposed to be subservient to the intelligence. For a man in the practical world who has to fight so many opposing elements, it is certainly very difficult to control the mind. Artificially, one may establish a mental equilibrium toward both friend and enemy, but ultimately no worldly man can do so, for this is more difficult than controlling the raging wind. In the Vedic literature, Kata Upanishad, it is said, Atmanam ratinam vidhi shariram ratam evacha budim ta sharatim vidhi mana pragraham evacha indriyani hayim hayam ahur vishayam teshu gocharam admendriya admendriya mano yuktam voktar yahur manisina the individual is a passenger in the car of the material body and intelligence is the driver. Mind is the driving instrument and the senses are the horses. The self is thus the enjoyer or sufferer in the association of the mind and senses. So it is understood by great thinkers. Intelligence is supposed to direct the mind but the mind is so strong and obstinate that it often overcomes even one's own intelligence as an acute infection may surpass the efficacy of medicine. Such a strong mind is supposed to be controlled by the practice of yoga, but such practice is never practical for a worldly person like Arjuna. And what can we say of modern man? The simile used here is appropriate. One cannot capture the blowing wind and it is even more difficult to capture the turbulent mind. The easiest way to control the mind, as suggested by Lord Chaitanya, is chanting Hare Krishna the great mantra for deliverance in all humility. The method prescribed is Savaimana Krishna Pararavinda Yoy. One must engage one's mind fully in Krishna. Only then will there remain no other engagement to agitate the mind. <laughs> मनमानदे <laughs> எதிரிக்கும் நண்பனுக்கும் சமமான மனோநிலையை செயற்கையாக உருவாக்கிக் கொள்ளலாமே தவிர இறுதியில் எந்த உலக மனிதனாலும் அவ்வாறு செய்ய முடியாது ஏனெனில் வீசும் காற்றை அடக்குவதை விட இது கடினமானதாகும் 
வேத இலக்கியங்களில் கடல் பரிசத்தில் பின்வருமாறு கூறப்பட்டுள்ளது ஆத்மாவும் சாரதியாக புத்தியும் ஓட்டும் உபகரணமாக மனமும் குதிரைகளாக புலன்களும் உள்ளன இவ்வாறு மனம் மற்றும் புலன்களின் சேர்க்கையால் ஆத்மா இன்ப துன்பத்தை அடைகிறான் பெரும் சிந்தனையாளர்கள் இவ்வாறு எண்ணுகின்றனர் மனம் புத்தியினால் வழிகாட்டப்பட வேண்டும் ஆனால் சில சமயங்களில் மோசமான வியாதி சிறப்பான மருந்தையும் வென்று விடுவது போல பலமானதும் அடங்காததுமான மனம் ஒருவனது சுய புத்தியையும் அடிக்கடி வென்று விடுகிறது இத்தகு பலமிக்க மனம் யோக பயிற்சியால் கட்டுப்படுத்தப்பட வேண்டும் ஆனால் அர்ஜுனனை போன்ற சாதாரண மனிதனுக்கு இது என்றுமே அசாத்தியமே அப்படி இருக்க நவீன மனிதனை பற்றி நாம் என்ன சொல்ல முடியும் இங்கு கூறப்பட்டிருக்கும் உபமை பொருத்தமானது வீசும் காற்றை யாராலும் கட்டுப்படுத்த முடியாது குழம்பிய மனதை கட்டுப்படுத்துவது அதை விட கடினமானதாகும் பகவான் சைதன்யரால் கூறப்பட்டபடி மனதை கட்டுப்படுத்த எளிதான வழி முக்திக்கு மிகவும் உகந்த ஹரே கிருஷ்ண மகாமந்திரத்தை பணிவோடு ஜபிப்பதுடன் பரிந்துரைக்கப்படும் வழிமுறை சபை மனக கிருஷ்ண பாதார விந்தையோ மனதை முழுவதுமாக கிருஷ்ணரில் ஈடுபடுத்த வேண்டும் இதன் பின் மட்டுமே கிளர்ச்சியூட்டும் ஈடுபாடு ஈடுபாடுகளில் இருந்து மனம் விடுபட முடியும் ஹரே கிருஷ்ணன் ஜாஜனாஷாக்கூருமிலிக்கூத்தவேயாக வந்தேஹம் ஸ்ரீகோஷீயதாபலம் ஸ்ரீகுருன் வைஷ்ணவம் ஸ்ரீரூபம் சக்கரஜாதம் சகனாரகநிதம் தம் சஜீவம் சாத்வைத்தம் சாவதுதம் ஹரிஜனா சாஹிதம் கிருஷ்ணச்சைதன்ய ஹே கிருஷ்ண கருணாசிந்து தீனபந்து ஜகே கோபேஷ கோபிகாக்கோராங்கேராதேஷன் So Lord Krishna was explaining how you have to sit and control the mind and Arjuna said, he said, well, I, I can't do that. I'm not able to sit and just sit and stop my mind. And Arjuna is descri- he's describing why he cannot control his mind. So the mind is very restless chanchalam right chanchalam does not stay in one place chanchala is a name of lakshmi right money is also like that chanchal doesn't stay in one place Right? 
you're working, you know, you get money, how long do you keep it? Right? Your wife will take it, your family will take it. Quickly, it's all gone. So, the mind does not stay in one place. One minute you're thinking about Johor. Next minute you're thinking Singapore. <laughs> you're thinking, why I'm working Malaysia? I should go Singapore. That's the nature of the mind, very restless. Even you get to Singapore, you think, Australia, America. Wherever you go, you will never be satisfied with the uncontrolled mind. We have to understand Prabhupada's explaining that we have, everyone has a mind and we also have intelligence and intelligence is supposed to be higher than the mind. Just like the mind may say one day, Oh, there's so much money in the bank, let me rob the bank. But the intelligence will say, no, no, that's not a good idea. You get a lot of trouble if you do that. But sometimes the mind doesn't listen to the intelligence. And sometimes we go and do the wrong thing and we get trouble. We didn't listen to the intelligence. Srila Prabhupada is giving example here about the mind. He said, first of all in the body there are senses. Right, five senses. We have the eyes, we have the nose, we have the ears, we have the tongue and we have the skin. So five senses are there and these senses they are compared to horses. And we have not one horse, we have five horses. Yeah, it's not easy to be in the human body. Five senses, all active. Just like Draupadi, she had five husbands. Not easy to try to satisfy five husbands. So, just like a man, if you have five wives, you know, very difficult. If you have five, you have to work five times harder. 
You have to have five jobs because you need five times the money. So the five senses are like horses and the horses control. There's a, a rope, a, there's a, a, they put a thing through the mouth of the horse and you hold the reins and they control the horse. So this, the reins, they're like the mind which control the senses. The desire comes in the mind and the mind will tell the senses, oh that looks nice, we should eat that, we will eat that. Or the mind will say, let's go there and watch that film. Or the mind will say, let's sleep. So the mind, from the mind there are desires. Everyone has desires. Some desires are good and some are bad. The mind is giving desires. And the intelligence is the one which decides which desire we should try to follow. Just like when it comes to, to eating, the mind will say, you already ate, you already had some rice, you already ate a big plate, are you going to eat more? The tongue said, yes, I want more. But the intelligence says, no, 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 you shouldn't take more, you already had a good helping, you don't need to eat more. Maybe you're a driver and if you eat more then you'll feel sleepy. It won't be good to drive if you're sleepy. You have to be intelligent. Everyone has some intelligence, right? But sometimes the mind doesn't listen to the intelligence. Just like sometimes we eat too much. And sometimes we do things, we know we shouldn't have done that but still we did it and we get in trouble. So Arjuna is saying to Krishna, I cannot control my mind. He said it's more difficult than to control the wind. Now, can you put your arms out and control the wind? No, we cannot control the wind. <coughs> so Arjuna is saying, I, I, I can't do it. The, that type of yoga you're asking me to do, I cannot do that. To just sit and be silent and stop the mind. How long will your mind stop? A few seconds. 
to even stop the mind for a minute or two is, wow, you're doing quite well. So, it's very difficult to stop the mind. But at the same time, we have to control the mind. We are not the mind. We are all souls. Right, within the body there's the soul. And the soul is seated next to the intelligence. And the intelligence is there to guide the mind. But often, some, we, often we're very stupid, we don't listen to our intelligence. We do the wrong thing. Now Lord Krishna has already described in this chapter, he's told us the mind can be the friend and the mind can be the enemy. If your mind is a friend, it can elevate you. And if the mind is your enemy, it will degrade you. The, knife, the, the example is given just like a knife. A knife can be used by a doctor to heal. A knife. <laughs> But the same knife can be taken by someone to kill someone. So the, the mind is like that. It can be good, it can be bad. We have to learn to train the mind. Lord Krishna will tell Arjuna, he's going to tell Arjuna, I know it's difficult, Arjuna. But Krishna will say, it's possible. It's possible, you can control the mind, but you have to practice. And you have to let go of your material attachment. So those two things are very important. Abhyas and Vairag. Right? We need to practice. Just like how to control the mind, chanting Hare Krishna is the easiest process to control the mind. But you have to practice. It's not just immediately you can do it and all finished. You have to practice chanting regularly. Just like medicine, when you get sick, doctor will give you medicine. He will say, take three pills a day and you have to, not just one day, you have to take the medicine for some time. So we have to also practice chanting, controlling the mind. What should we do with the mind when we chant? You should use the mind 
to hear the mantra. Yes, we use our ears, of course, to hear. But the instruction comes from the mind to tell the ear, listen to this mantra. And the same way when we chant, we use the tongue to chant. The mind has to tell the tongue, chant the mantra. And so you do the chanting, you use the ears and you use the tongue. So and they're working under the direction of the mind. We want to use our mind in the service of Krishna. So Srila Prabhupada quotes from Srimad Bhagavatam the statement in relation to Maharaj Ambarish. There was a great devotee king. He was he used to live in the land of Mathura. His name was Maharaj Ambarish. And he was always engaged in devotional service. But it is said, the first thing he did was to fix his mind on the lotus feet of Krishna. What does it mean to think of the lotus feet of Krishna? What does it mean? It, it requires that we have to think in a humble way. We have to understand Krishna is the master and I am trying to be his servant. We say, Krishna is the Ishwara, Param Ishwara. He is the supreme controller. Krishna is Ishwara, Param. And we are tiny servants. So that should be the mood when we chant the holy name. That we are calling out to Lord Krishna. We are calling to Krishna, O oh, Supreme Lord Krishna. And we also chant the name of Lord Rama. Rama can refer to different people. Rama and the Of course, there is Lord Ramachandra. The great, the great king of Ayodhya. And but there are other Ramas. There is also Balarama, who was Krishna's brother. There was another avatar, Parasurama. He was a great Kshatriya. Well, actually, he was a Brahmana, but he became a Kshatriya. He was avatar of Lord Krishna. But there's another meaning of Rama. It also means Lord Krishna. Because Rama means the source of all pleasure. And it's Lord Krishna who brings pleasure 
to all of his devotees. Just like one time Lord Krishna was in the forest of Vrindavan with all the cowherd boys and all the cows. And suddenly there was a forest fire. They were surrounded by flames. So the, all the, the cows and the cowherd boys, they all came to Krishna. Whenever the people of Vrindavan are in any danger, they always turn to Krishna for help. They came to Krishna and just cried out, Krishna, Oh Krishna, save us. And Krishna told them, just close your eyes for a minute. And they all closed their eyes, and while their eyes were closed, Krishna swallowed the whole forest fire. So Krishna brought pleasure to all the people of Vrindavan. So Krishna is also known as Rama. So we chant the Maha Mantra. Hare Krishna and Rama. Hare Krishna. Hare Rama. Hare Hare. Very good. <laughs> Okay, thank you very much. Yeah. What time do we want to stop here? Yeah. Yeah. Sure, you want to ask questions? Yeah, any questions? Yeah, Anybody have any questions? Yes? Any doubts? Give some good to people for the devotee doing service, man. Okay. So we can give them. Okay, yeah. Okay. And get it up. We saw in a spectacle in the Minasa and Alishma Swami Maharaj. He is a good heart. I would like to welcome His Grace Nama Sankita Prabhu. So now I'm there. Ali Tarevaril Nama Sankita Prabhu Prabhu Prabhu. Yes, so now we want to get it you. So Vaishnava will come then and be. So, you know, so at the start, we have to recognize the issues with the world. So, we would like to give a great hand, a great issues where Prabhu will read the name passed from September where they took over. So, a dedicated duty was serving. So, we are going to end our Tilak, where Maharaj will give the Tilak to the particular duty. And also, Sudharma Prabhu will call on them as the vice servant. Yes, yeah, so for the the serving duty, so Hare Krishna, come on, Hare Krishna. And the second number, actually, the other problem on the stage, the car on 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 the ಅಚ್ಯುತನ್ <laughs> ಪ್ರಭು <laughs> <laughs> ಪ್ರಭು <laughs> 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 
Ajudan bro kampung. Ya, bro, 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 Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna Prabhu. Hare Krishna. Very good. And very 
Thank you so much for all your support. <laughs> He's doing the column hall every festival, come and they go. Also my sister, oh. my uncle's sister. Yes. 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 Yes.
Not even enough for your company workers. So, Tita will be leading the Tita and Maharaj with the Mahaprishad. Whoever takes Prishad, so Prishad will be leading the Mahaprishad. Okay, come on. Hare Krishna. I am also there. Yeah, thank you for keeping me. Hare Krishna. We don't fail past five weeks. She can't come up with the Maharaj. Really? Yeah. Uh-huh. 
हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे हरे द साउंड इज नॉट इनफ हरे रामा हरे रामा हरे रामा हरे रामा 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 हरे हरे वन मोर टाइम हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा राम राम हरे हरे सो ऑन फोर्टी 